Hello, my name is Derek McMahon, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow in Rob Lee's lab in the Department of Otorhinolaryngology at the University of Pennsylvania. So I'm currently focused on the role of taste receptors in the human airway. I found that in basal epithelial cells, some of the bitter taste receptors that would normally be localized to the cilia on the ciliated cells uh, are now localized to the nucleus. And so bitter compounds are very hydrophobic. They can still permeate into the cell and activate these receptors, which seem to increase nitric oxide production, which is a great innate immune response. But they also signal through nuclear and mitochondrial calcium pathways, which leads to apoptosis. In terms of the bigger picture, I'm hoping that we can use bitter compounds to activate the host innate immune system to combat infections. But moreover, given my findings on bitter taste receptors activating apoptosis, we may be able to come up with targeted therapies for some types of cancer. Ideally, we're focused on repurposing drugs that are currently in use, since many of them also target bitter taste receptors. For example, quinine is an ingredient found in tonic water, and it's also used to treat malaria. But it activates nine different bitter taste receptors, and we've also found that it also induces apoptosis. These receptors are found throughout the body, so there's 25 total bitter taste receptors in humans, so there's plenty more years of research ahead of us. So one of the biggest problems that we face is detecting the protein expression of some of the taste receptors. We usually directly observe protein expression through either Western blot or immunofluorescent microscopy. However, both of these techniques require antibodies that are raised against our protein of interest. Unfortunately, not all of the taste receptors have commercially available antibodies. However, we do have a way to navigate around this problem. As you may remember, DNA, the blueprint of life, is stored within the nucleus of the cell. It can then be transcribed into RNA, which leaves the nucleus, which is then translated to protein. So while we may not be able to detect this protein directly, we can actually have a way to detect the RNA. Using applied biosystem technologies TACMAN probes through qPCR, we have been able to detect all 28 taste receptors in various cell types. Not only are these probes sensitive in that they can detect really low levels of RNA since these taste receptors are expressed at very low levels, but they're also very specific. So though we can't directly observe the protein expression, we have such great ways of detecting RNA and functional responses to bitter compounds. Thus, we're able to actually determine that the taste receptor proteins are expressed and functional within our cell lines. If I was able to meet any scientist, either living or dead, I think I'd be most interested in meeting the next generation of scientists. Everyone, and even every generation, has a unique worldview. A lot of people can be hard on the next generation, but I'm really excited, and I'm interested in seeing who's next and what they'll contribute to our understanding of the world. So I'm always looking forward into what's next.